Hello my gorgeous little pumpkin pies out there and welcome. In today's video, I am gonna be trying a brand that I've been wanting to try for a while now, but it is Bella Bar Cosmetics. I picked up their Celestial Garden Palette. This is a collab with M. Jones, who has an amazing Instagram account. Like her artistry, her makeup work is stunning. And then I also picked up the Oracle Chrome Highlighter Palette that is supposed to be full of shifty highlighters. So I wanna use both of these, create a couple looks do swatches, see how the formula is, and give you guys my thoughts on these products. But before we get into this video, if you're new here, hello, welcome, my name is Brie, and I'm just a crazy lover of all things beauty, and I like to post a lot of fun, colorful makeup content, I like to do a lot on indie makeup. So if that is what you're into, then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family. But with that being said, let's get into this video. <laughs> Guys, I am on 100. I am so pumped right now. I have been so productive today. This is my third video I am filming because your girl did a lot of purchases, so I have a lot of reviews coming, a lot of good content coming your way. But I'm ready to get into these products. Bella Bar Cosmetics is a brand that I've been intrigued by, that I've been wanting to try, but never really pulled a trigger on any of their releases until now because these two products look stunning breathtaking amazing so i don't know too much about bella bar cosmetics but i'm assuming they're an indie brand and they came out with this beautiful celestial garden palette and i am just a celestial type of beat okay i love stars moons all that astrology i'm so into it so anything themed like this always pulls on my heartstrings but this palette goes for 59 dollars so show you guys up close i love the packaging it's simple cardboard packaging it has like the moon phases with flowers on it it's so pretty here's the back of it it has the ingredients and this is still available on their website the last time I checked and this also has a big mirror and then here are the shades look at that are these beautiful I like how they're monochromatic rows and this palette is very unique so the top row is all mattes the middle row is full of sparkly dual chromes and then these four shades right here are cake liners which I've been really into cake liners. Like I've been loving the ones from Glisten Cosmetics, so I can't wait to try those. And then this one right here is a like iridescent multi-chrome, which I think is cool. I think the setup is really awesome here. And I don't know, I'm loving all the colors. Like M. Jones did an amazing job with her like selection and putting the cake liners. I just love it. So congratulations to both of them. This is so beautiful. So then the next product is the Oracle Highlighter Palette. This also goes for $59, but this is full of like special shifty highlighters. And this is currently sold out. So hopefully they're bringing this back. But it says the Oracle Highlighter Palette is a six pan specialty highlighter palette filled with multi-chrome and dual chromes my favorite kind of highlighter. So I'll show you guys up close. This artwork and packaging is a one. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Here's the back of it. And then this is what it looks like inside. There's a mirror. And then look at these. I'm sure the lighting's gonna wash them out, but of course I'm gonna put up swatches so you guys can see the shifts. I haven't touched either of these products, so I have no idea what to expect. I like going in blind and then doing my swatches afterwards. But they look gorgeous. This one looks like it might be like more of a blush topper for me. But ooh, can't wait to get into this. So what I'm gonna do is create two looks with both of the products, and then I'll you know let you guys know my final thoughts at the end, what I think of the formula, any pros or cons or anything like that. But I think we should just jump into the looks now. So I went ahead and prime my eyes with the Glam Light Icing Eyeshadow Base and Butter Cream. It's one of my favorite primers. It's one of my go-tos. So I'm gonna go into the shade called Night Felix, or Felix, I'm not totally sure how to say that. But I'm just gonna go in with this small Ruffer 13 brush. And there's a little kickback in the pan. So these are more like dusty shades. I don't know if it's showing up, but yeah. So there's definitely a kickback. So I'm gonna get that off the brush. And I'm gonna use that out here in the outer corner. This is gonna be like the deepening shade. So I'm just gonna keep the shade here in the outer corner. I'm not gonna take it too far in because I'm gonna do three different colors on the lid. So then I'm gonna clean off the brush and I'm gonna go into this shade right here. This like bright coral shade. It is Deanthus. Deanthus. Oh my gosh, these names are very interesting. I need to look them up. I dust off the excess to avoid fallout. 
and I'm gonna put it right here in the center. That's where I'm gonna concentrate it at. I might bring it down to, we're just doing a simple like three tone color look today. I'm gonna clean this off because I wanna keep it simple, keep using the same brush. And I wanna go into Chocolate Daisy, this very neon-y shade. Ooh, I love this. And I'm gonna use that in the inner portion. And it's definitely gonna be like the bright poppy shade. So to keep it simple, because I'm not trying to do complicated things today, I'm going to match up the lower lash line to what we have up in the crease. So I'm going to take the purple night Felix on the outer corner. I'm going to connect it. And this actually has a good amount of depth. It's deeper than I expected it to look on the eyes. I'm having a little bit of fallout. I'm just connecting that. I might actually bring this out some more to create more of like a wing shape. And then I'm just gonna take the corally shade here, corally pink. And then I'm just gonna take Chocolate Daisy, which is such an interesting name for a very neon-y shade. All right, I think that looks good. It's simple, it's easy. I feel kind of 80 vibes right now, but I'm gonna get a flat shader brush. I think this will work and I'm gonna start getting into the shimmers now so I'm gonna start off with Jasmine I'm just gonna match up the corresponding shimmer that matches the matte so I'm gonna go into this purple shade called Jasmine these look like they're gonna be really sparkly like they have a little bit more texture they're a little flaky and usually those kind of metallics are really like intense and beautiful on the eyes and like sparkly so I'm gonna put that here You see that oh my gosh okay i'm having a little bit of shimmer fallout but you know what it's so worth it this looks like it has like a pink shift to it i'm just concentrating it out here on the outer edge and now let's get into the shade called lotus i'm using the same brush i just cleaned it off oh this also looks so sparkly just get some water on there and right here in the center. Oh yeah. Ooh, I think I still had some purple on my brush. Let me cover that up. Which is fine, I don't care if they mix. They're beautiful together. And I'm just gonna bring it up to my crease. I'm gonna clean this off, hopefully I clean it good. And now let's get into the Evening Primrose shade. A nice little light yellow metallic. Okay, I'll spray that a bit. I'm gonna take it right there. Oh, yes, it has a green shift, a yellow to green, and it's so vibrant. You can definitely use this as a inner corner highlight too. Ooh, yes. Well, that was easy. So the last shade that I want to use for this look is the multi chrome. I want to see what it's all about. I'm gonna take this pencil brush. Make sure it's clean and go into the queen of the night right here and I'm gonna pick it up let's see it seems very pretty it looks white but we'll see we'll see I'm gonna spray it and then I'm gonna pop it right here oh it's like really pinky and very smooth so now let's get into the cake liners and I think I want to be matchy matchy. That's just where I'm going and I want to use the pastel ones and I'll probably use this greeny yellow one. But I have my little spray bottle that has water in it. I'm going to just put a little bit into the pan, keep them flat so they don't mix up the shades. And I have this liner brush that I got from Glisten Cosmetics that is so good. So I'm going to start off with the purple pastel shade which is called Equinox. I'm not going to tilt it too much but this shade right here I'm gonna just line it up above the purple easy peasy lemon squeezy we love an easy liner then I'm gonna clean off this liner brush from glisten cosmetics and I'm gonna go into the peachy pastel and I'm just gonna arch it over here Ooh. Ooh, 
These are very creamy. They glide on very nicely. I'm gonna use the greeny uh, pastel since I don't have a yellow pastel um, uh, liner in this palette. There is none, so I'm just bringing it here. And it actually looks kind of yellow, so that works. Let me do my other eye off camera really quickly to match it up. I'm not gonna add any more because I don't want it to get too crazy. I don't think I'm gonna add any more because I don't wanna mess this look up, so I will be right back. So I zoomed the camera in closer and I decided to add more. I just felt inspired, so I decided to put these three little white dots and a white dot in the inner portion. I mean, I feel like I'm giving you really cool celestial vibes with this, right? I don't know, I was feeling inspired to try something. I've never done that before. And I think it actually looks cool. At least I think so. So let's get into the highlighter palette now. So I'm gonna use a dense brush because they feel kind of firmly packed into the pan. They definitely feel different from the Blend Bunny one, which I'll compare at the end to see what they're like next to each other, like the swatches. But let's see. This almost reminds me of the one that I love from Kaleidos. The Prophecy Highlighter, because there's like orange in here, there's pink. I feel like the, the Prophecy one from Kaleidos is a little bit more intense and a little bit more creamy. So that is it for the look, that's it for the highlighter. So I'm gonna go off camera, I'm gonna pick a lippy, do my mascara, liner, all that, and then I will be right back to show you guys the completed look. All right, I'm back, my loves. Here is the finished look with everything done, liner, mascara. I think the shadows look really nice. I'm loving the shimmers. The cake liner was so easy to use and I love the addition of the dots. I feel like that really added to this look. It just amped it up a little bit more. I feel very celestial and that is totally the vibe of this palette. So I think I'm fitting with the theme here. But all I did off camera was I went in with the Beauty For Real High Def Mascara. I went and tight lined with this trusty pencil. Then for my lips, I went with something nudie because I wanted the eyes to do the talking. I just wanted to keep it subdued down here. But this is from Melt. This is one of their matte lipsticks. I don't know the shade name because the sticker is gone, but it's just a nudie shade. And then for my waterline, I went in with the ColourPop liner and exit. I just went in with white. Usually that's my go-to if I'm not sure what I want to put on my waterline. And that's all I did to finish off this look. Show you guys one more time. I feel like I need to film another video so I have this look in the video because I really, really like how it looks. So that is it for look number one. Now let's get into look number two. But I want to focus on this side now for the second look. And I'm gonna take this refer brush, the number 13, and I'm gonna start off with the shade called Gardenia. And that's just how I like to do my look. So I'm gonna just stamp that here. And I'm gonna bring it all through the crease. This look is going to be on the darker end because that's just what I'm feeling. I feel like the other look was a little bit more lighter, a little bit more soft, at least to me. So I'm just patting this through. So I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm gonna clean it off with a color switch and I'm gonna go into tuberose. These are two flowers that I really, really love. So seeing those names make me so happy. And I'm going to blend out the edge and get more of a diffused blend and just soften everything. I don't want any harsh lines. I don't want anything to look patchy or funky. And this is a nice, like more pastel teal. It's definitely showing up really nicely. So now I wanna do the lower lash line. I'm gonna take the same shades that I used through the crease and just bring it down here. And then I'll, you know, blend out the edges with the tuberose shade. So I'm just going in with Gardenia. I'm just gonna kind of stamp that down here. So I wanna go into this white shade right here called Eclipse. So I'm just gonna put some water in there. And I'm gonna use the liner brush from Glisten Cosmetics. I'm just gonna rub that water in there. This is my first time trying to do this kind of liner-like shape. So I'm gonna go here with my eyes open, like where my eye naturally creases, like above that. I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna go here. Hopefully I don't mess this up. If I do, all things can be fixed. And then I'm gonna do that round 
shape that people do sometimes in their looks. Hopefully it will work, even though I have like somewhat hooded eyes. But I think it does, so I'm gonna just kind of fix this line. So I'm gonna do that on the other eye, because you don't need to keep seeing me struggle making the shape, and then I'll be back and we can get into the shimmers. So now that that is done, I'm gonna go on with some glitter primer and put that all over the lid, and then we're gonna go into the metallic. So I'm gonna take the Unearthy Glimmer Grasp, and I'm just gonna stamp it all in the space. It's this whole space. I'm gonna fill with metallics. I really like this so far. It makes your lid so tacky. Like, it's a perfect base for metallics to stick to. But I wanna go into the shade called Moonflower, which right here you can see it looks teal, but this actually has a shift to it, which is like a blue. Ooh, wow, this is pretty. So I'm gonna take the same Nabla brush that I used to put the glitter glue on and I'm just gonna stamp that on top. Ooh, that is such a pretty dual chrome. Oh, I love it. I love these kind of dual chromes. And I'm gonna leave a little space in the front because I'm gonna take another shimmer in the front part. That is beautiful. So now I'm gonna take the shade called Rain Lily right here in the inner portion, this very light, like minty green metallic. And I'm just gonna stick it right here using the same novel brush. I just cleaned it off with the color switch. I'm just gonna fuse that a little bit into the moonflower shade. Oh my God, this is so pretty. I love, love, love this. So I do wanna take a little bit of this shade too in the inner corner because it's just so pretty. So I'm gonna take this pencil brush from Farah and I'm gonna bring some on the brush like that and then I'm gonna wet it because I feel like this is definitely light enough to be a inner corner highlight too. Oh yeah, I might take a little bit of the Queen of the Night, the like white iridescent metallic on top just to see what that would do, like how it would transform the shade underneath. But I think this looks so pretty so far. Oh my gosh, I love these colors, these tones. The grainy teals, the dual chrome right there. Ooh, so pretty. So now let's get into the Queen of the Night shade. I'm gonna use the same pencil brush. I just cleaned it off a little bit. And I wanna see what it does on top of that shade. It actually makes it look more pink. It definitely has a very strong pink shift. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna forget that and go back into the Rain Lily shade instead. I like the like minty shade being in the inner corner better. So let me cover that up. All right, so I think that's it. Like for the eye look, I think I might add like a little gem in the inner portion, like an iridescent one. I think would look really cool. But then I'll do like my lashes, mascara, something in the waterline, something for my lips. And then I will be right back to show you guys the completed look. All right guys, I am back and I finished the look, but I realized that I didn't go on with one of the highlighters from the Oracle palette. So let's do that now before I tell you guys how I finished this look off. But I think I'm gonna go into this one called the High Priestess. This one looks like it has like a minty to pink shift and I feel like it's gonna match this look really well. So I just put it on this more dense fluffy brush from Persona Cosmetics or Persona, I think that's how you pronounce it. But I'm just gonna put some up here, like, whoa. Do you guys see how intense that mint shift is? And I can really see the pink as I move my face. This is giving me galactic, galaxy, alien, goddess vibes. Oh my God, it's so pretty. And it glides onto the cheeks really well and it just goes so well with this look. Like, they were meant to be together. Like, look, I have a whole monochromatic vibe going on. Oh my gosh, I feel so like galactic, I love it. Okay, so let me tell you guys what I did off camera before I wrap up the video. So I went in with some gems, yes. I'll show you guys closely what I did. Isn't this so cool and pretty? I actually really like the shape. It actually worked out for me and I didn't think it was going to because I have hooded eyes, but 
you know what? That's the great thing about just trying things is you never know. You might fall in love with a different technique and makeup can always come off. So if you don't like it, you can just wash it off. So I put the little gems in here, these iridescent gems, and then I put these little star ones because I didn't realize I had star ones. But I'll try to remember to link these below, but just look up on Amazon like face stickers, face gems. You'll find so many different ones and they're so cheap and they just really amplify a look and take it to that next level so what else i did off camera was i went in with the beauty for real high def mascara i used the la girl shockwave liner it's one of the metallic ones in ocean matches the matte that's down here so well i tight line with this trusty pencil up here and then for my lips i wanted something nudie so i went in with the juvia's place luxe lip liner and sweet nothing and then i went over that with the nabla liquid lipstick and sweet gravity yes they're both like nudie shades and i just wanted to keep it toned down here so we can focus up here to this beautifulness but that is all i did off camera to finish this look loving the highlighter loving everything about everything so i'm gonna zoom you guys out give you my final thoughts we'll compare the blend bunny one to the oracle palette as well i'll show you guys like swatches comparing how they look and then we can wrap up this video i am such a fan of these two palettes i love them i'm so happy that i finally tried bella bar cosmetics because these are good these are winners i am so happy with how the look turned out how the highlighters perform the packaging like everything is gorgeous so as far as the celestial palette i love the color story i love the monochromatic rose the dual chromes in here are really pretty the mattes were nicely pigmented they were blendable i had no issues with this palette and i love the addition of the cake liners it makes the palette unique having like these different formulas to work with they remind me a lot of the ones in like the glisten cosmetics palette that i recently showed on my channel they're creamy pigmented you can layer them up they don't get weird and dry and crumbly at all like they just go on so nice and they picked the perfect tones to go with the shades in this palette so I am such a big fan of this. I highly recommend this because I'm already in love. As for the Oracle palette, I know it's a little pricey, but it's really nice. The formula is really pretty. It goes on the cheeks really nicely and you can really see the shifts in these very strong. Like you can just see the colors going back and forth. Like I can see like the minty teal to like the pink so easily in this. And it just went on the cheeks so nicely. It didn't really enhance any texture. I just love it and I normally don't like these kind of highlighters with color in it but I am really digging this like all the highlighters I've used in this are so pretty and I do feel like this is similar like the vibe and the whole like shifty highlighters are very similar to the Blend Bunny Noctilucent palette but I do feel like the formulas are totally different. The ones in the Oracle palette are a little bit more dry, a little bit more powdery, but not like in a bad sense. And then the Blend Bunny one has more of a creamy, slick texture, but they both have shifty highlighters in them. Now this one's a little bit more pricier than the Blend Bunny one, but I don't think you could go wrong with either one. I guess it would kind of depend on what brand you prefer or what kind of formula you prefer or packaging or whatever. So I did go ahead and swatch both of them on my arm next to each other so you guys can see. So on this side, it's the Bella Bar one, the Oracle palette, and then this side is the Blend Bunny Noctilucent palette. You see how both of them have similar shifting shades, like there's an orangey one, a blue one, a green one, but you can definitely see that the textures are different. Like this one's a little bit more like a powder formula, this one is a little bit more of a creamy feel to it, maybe a little bit more texture almost, but they both are gorgeous. Like you can't go wrong with either one, but I just want you guys to see how they compare to one another. I'm happy with either one and I'm happy to have both of them. I do like the formula on both, but that was my thoughts on both of the palettes. I'm very happy with both of them. So happy to have them in my collection and I just really enjoyed the two looks I was able to create. I just had so much fun with these products, but you guys will have to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Did you pick up any of these? Have you tried Bella Bar Cosmetics before? I would love to hear from all of y'all. Also, if you're new here and you enjoy this video and you like a lot of fun and colorful makeup content, you like a lot on indie makeup, 
makeup and eyeshadow palettes, then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family. Also, don't forget to check out the description below. I will link the products. I'll link any codes that I can find if you want to get a discount. I mean, who wouldn't want to? I will also link other videos of mine you might be interested in, as well as the rest of my makeup that I'm wearing, like what is on my face. I will also have my contact and my social media platforms there. So if you want to check me out on Instagram, I am Breezy Lifestyle and Breezy underscore Beauty, and I do post a lot of different stuff there as well. So if you want to join that fam, I would really, really love that. But guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, for being here, supporting my channel. I really appreciate you all so very much. And I just hope you all are doing well wherever you are in the world. And I'm just sending you all so much light and love. But until next time, bye guys. <laughs> Thank you.